Now, I would like to add one final thing to detect whether the snake crashes into itself or a wall. So when the snake crashes into itself or the edges of the stage, we want to run the when I receive the game over code. The head sprite will say ouch for two seconds and then stop the program. So instead of writing the same code twice, let's put uh, the code for all crashes under uh, when I receive a game overs block so that either uh, crash can broadcast game over and run this code. If you want to change the code, you just need to change it in one place in the when I receive game over script. So uh, we will go to the code of the head sprite and we will go to uh, the controls I'm sorry to the events when I receive I will add here game over when I receive game over say for two seconds and stop everything. Go to the events, to the control and stop everything. So I will go then back right here. Well, after the uh, move seven steps, I will add two if blocks. So I will take this one and I will take this one again because I have two if statements if the head touches uh, the touches the edge so if touches the edge then I would like to broadcast game over so go to the uh, control to the events broadcast game over and wait So the f this is the first thing and the second thing is when the head touches itself. So when it touches actually the head, go to the control, when uh, I'm sorry, to, to senses, when it touches color, uh, I will choose this color right here and then broadcast, broadcast game over. Broadcast game over and wait. So using the touching color block we test uh, for the condition when the snake touches its own body. So make sure you use the color uh, you, we used in costume 2 for this condition. So let's go here and double click switch costume to costume 2. So I will go back to the head and change this one. Take this and click right here. Now it's okay. 
So, uh, we will also check with the next if statement, test the horizontal and vertical boundaries of the snake. When the snake crosses them, the same game over broadcast is sent. So, let's hope the player is quick enough to avoid crossing, otherwise the snake will be history. So, uh, we uh, will start right now. We will click to the green flag to test the code so far. Try crossing into the wall and it no into uh, the snake's body on purpose to make sure that the crash detection works. So if your snake appears to be crashing even though it's not touching itself or the edges, try increasing the wait time from 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 or larger. Also, be sure that the game over code doesn't run if the snake isn't crossing into anything. Then uh, try to play the game. Okay, let's change it also here. Let's go to the body and change 0. Point. Uh, okay, let's try again. Now it's okay. Okay, let's change it to 0. Point 0.4 to be sure. Now it is great. Nice. Very, very nice. So, this was the game. I hope you had a lot of fun. Actually, uh, we created a game using, as you can see right here, if statements, using loops, and using event driven programming. When up arrow, uh, is pressed, we point in specific directions. So, I hope you had a lot of fun. Save the game, share it with your friends and your family, play the classic game Snake. Using the arrows of your keyboard. So now it's okay. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the